I'm in the states of depression right now. Um, and this depression can be pinpointed to a, a particular event. And that, of course, is the, um, the Arsenal game. I was a different HH before the Arsenal game. And I'm now a different HH after the Arsenal game. But I think we have to first start with an apology. I have to apologize to Ateta and to Arsenal fans. So this apology to Devil, Jonas, A1, Mozola, Dez, Bill Hambly, and all the Arsenal fans that I know, man. Um, Almadist as well. Um, how things change. Because literally... From that Arsenal-Chelsea game, both clubs have gone in different directions. Before that Arsenal-Chelsea game, we're talking about Ateta getting sacked, Arsenal getting relegated, and can Arsenal get a new manager in time to stop them from actually potentially being in a relegation battle? And where Chelsea were concerned was, okay, you know what? This team did not really play well, but Dory, they're just going from strength to strength, and at once... The players come in, so they're going to hit again and, and Chelsea are going to show how good they are and they're now going to show in this COVID hit season how strong the squad is and they cannot really go for the Premier League. They're going to just destroy Arsenal. Them destroying Arsenal maybe can be the impetus to not take them to the next level. Then after the Arsenal game, Arsenal has gone from strength to, to strength. Um, Ateta has found how to utilise Smith Rowe, how to utilise Saka, has... Giving them that little level because that's because it takes one game, one specific game, just for belief to permeate through a team. That is what happened with Arsenal and, and Arteta, and I've got to hold my hands up. You know, this just shows you that you know sometimes there are guys who you need to be, be, believe in. There's some guys who need to believe in, and Arteta was under some serious pressure, and that was a game that pretty much saved his job and totally changed Arsenal's fortunes and. As I just look at how Arsenal are playing, what they look like, and the thing that makes it so painful is it was against Chelsea. That's how what they're playing, the game that made them do like this was against Chelsea. And when you look at how Chelsea have fallen down, how we we're having a civil war, I'm constantly arguing with guys on Instagram, on Twitter. I'm angry. The football depresses me, it breaks my heart because I know how good this, this team can play. And they because I want to be entertained, I want to be entertained. I want, I want ZH habits, I want that sexy football to go. Just at least just give me sexy football, and then we can work on results. Just give me sexy football. So, and and when you just look at just the crap I, I've had to witness, everything can be pinpointed back to, to the freaking Arsenal game and just how horrible that loss was. But this is a sorry no, no, and an apology, man. To Arsenal fans out there, you know, that's um I'm sorry about the insults and the abuse, you know, because it just seems as if Ateta knows what he's doing a lot more than the complete bozo that um Chelsea have as a as a, a, a manager, you know. Um but I just thought I just because I just, just saw like you know three zero against Arsenal because I thought it was gonna be two zero, but there you go, three zero. And just looking at us, what's how Arsenal are doing? You now have Aubameyang scoring again. And it's all happened because of the Chelsea game.